Hey everyone, Dave Nelson here with Agent Power Up. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page. Great way of collecting leads, a great way of driving traffic to your site, and a great way to add value to your industry and community. Now, before we get started, please like, subscribe, and share the content because, again, sharing is so much caring. And um, yeah, let's hop in. So you're going to go into the marketing tab. Now, don't be. Um, we did a, I did a previous video where I talked about the marketing tab and then I went through all of these, but I didn't go into much detail on landing page, but this video is only about landing page. So under marketing, you're gonna scroll down, let me move my head out of the way so you can see it. Under tools is landing page. So we click this, opens up to some recommendations for landing pages. These are just, you know, some, some really good options, but I'm gonna just gonna click on add a new landing page. And then you get to pick from all of these options. The most common ones are going to be feature a listing. Um, home evaluations are great. Maybe you got some guides or you know things you wanted to send out or a live tour, a host a tour, um, just get people to sign up. There's a lot of cool things that are just involved with your Lofty account. Now, again, disclaimer, depending on what account you have, or maybe you're on a team and the team restricts some of these things or your brokerage restricts it. Um, you may, may or may not see all of these things. If you're an agent at Real and you have the Lofty platform with Real, you get all of these things, um, unless you're on a team and maybe the team leader changes it. But if you don't see any of this stuff, go and talk to your team leader or your broker and, and get this fixed because this is a great way to add some um, value, but also get more business. So we're gonna create a featured listing, which is probably the most common one. So, um, the new page. So the new page is going to show after your vanity URL. So mine's David Nelson sales homes.com. So we're going to put fake home just because now it shows up right there. Fake home. Okay. So whatever you're going to name your page, name it something that's pertinent to that property. So maybe be one, two, three main street or four, five, six Elm Avenue, whatever it is, name it because it shows up here. Lead source is going to be website property type. Most often than not, it's going to be for for sale. And then I'm just going to find a random property. Here we go. And no, this is not my property, just a random one. But the cool thing is, is let's say you're hosting an open house or you want to promote somebody else's listing on their behalf. You don't have to have the listing, you know. And But I always tell people, before you promote somebody else's listing, make sure you ask them for, for, for permission. And technically in Minnesota, the broker owns all of the web, all of the properties. So with me being with Real, I technically could market any of Real's uh, properties, but I always ask the other other person if I can market it. But if you're doing an open house, again, ask them again. And if they say no to marketing their open house, then don't do the open house. But just ask for permission. So I'm going to click Save. And this is where the magic happens. Now, this, is, this opens up in a, in a new tab. So boom. It pulls the photos from the MLS. It creates this nice little, you know, slideshow. Pulls the data from the MLS. Told, it tells you who it's listed with. If there's a virtual tour. And then all of the pictures of the gallery. Details from the MLS. So just remember, if if the agent or whoever's uploading the information is, is wrong, it's going to show up wrong here. Um, this is just pulled directly from your MLS. Schools. Similar homes for sale, which is really cool. And of course your contact information, and then it puts in your information so they can you can get leads. Now, if you've noticed, all of these you can move around. So if I scroll up here, I can do like this button here and I can, I'll just do this, click it and it moves it down below or click that, moves that down below. So I wanna have that there. If I wanna edit this, you click the little edit button. And then over here you can set, if you want to change the price to $45, there it is. If you want to edit the description, you can change the background, whatever your brand is. Um, it pulls your logo from your website, so you don't have to add that, which is which is great. And then virtual tour, if there isn't one, I typically just delete it because um, not many people have a virtual tour. So you can delete that. Um, but then, yeah, so all this stuff's done. And then what you do from here, you can add blocks if you want to. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but if you wanna add a market snapshot, but typically I try to keep this as plain as possible. 
And then for the next step would be, so forgive me a little bit of pause there. That's why the video kind of cuts out. Um, so then you can move things around. You can add things, you can delete things, um, you can add, but for the most part, this is what you're gonna really wanna use for the, for the property. Just use the basic setup they have with Lofty. And then from here, um, you can see what it looks like live. So if you click the little eyeball, and it's going to be this is a this is a, a preview of what it's going to look like live, you know. So there it looks looks pretty darn good. Back to edit, and then if you like it, you click publish. So I'm going to publish it, and then right from here you can post it to your social, you can boost it. But now that it's published, so if you go here, you can have a QR code right there, which is awesome. And if you want to download it. You right click on it for us PC people and just save the image. Or if you want to share it directly to your social media challenges, you click that button and then it opens up this tab here and you can pick the social media that you want to post it on right there. Or lastly, if you want to share it, you can just view site and then you probably can't see it but then i'm going to copy the url up here so it's copied it and then you can paste it in facebook or linkedin or whatever you want to po post it on and it's going to have this so landing pages are really powerful tools that you know i don't think a lot of people use them because i think a lot of people are nervous and they don't know what to do um Loft lofty makes it really incredibly easy to, to create landing pages so if you're not doing it, um, just, just dabble with it and see how it goes. But if you're doing open houses, do a landing page. Your listing should have a landing page. These are great to show your sellers and say, hey, sellers, your property of a personal website. And you can show them, like a, you can make up an example or show some you know, previous examples of yours. And they're going to see that. They're going to go, wow, that's actually pretty cool. And then you get to share that link with your sellers. And the sellers can send it to their friends and post it on their social media. And guess what? Now you're in front of even more people. So again, it's all about adding value to people, but do it the right way. Um, it's going to be, it's going to pay off in dividends. So there you go. That is how you create a landing page in um, Lofty. And, I, and if you want to go into more details, there's more things over here you can tweak with, but I don't mess with this stuff. Um, I will go into a lot of this, these details of kind of more of this stuff when we do the editing of your actual website. And these tabs carry right over from your website editing. So once you watch that video, you're going to understand these incredibly easily. So there you go. I hope you have a great day. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.